A lot of hard work goes into the fingerling production before that delicious tilapia ends up on your dining table. I'm here at the Fisheries Commission Aquaculture Center in Ashaman to take you through the processes involved. Aquaculture is fairly recent and still developing in Ghana, having started about 60 years ago. For a successful fish farming to be achieved, one must obtain quality fingerlings. This is where the whole process begins. Brooders are kept in this pond after pairing them by a ratio of one male to three females. The brooders are fed three times a day for 14 days, after which time the farmer collects the eggs. Assistant Fisheries Director Edmond Datois, who has managed the aquaculture center over the last 10 years, takes us through the process. The process we are observing now is the collection of eggs from the mouths of the female brooders or female parents. So they are now sailing the net. They will bring out the parents or the brooders and then they will gently open the mouths of the f each female to inspect it and be sure that there are no eggs. If there are eggs being present in the mouth, it means that female is brooding the eggs to hide them in the mouth. So we gently w open the mouth, wash off or rinse out the eggs into a bucket or a bowl with water. Then we hatch, take them to our incubation room and hide them. Yeah. After the eggs are removed from the mouth of the brood stalk, it is cleaned and prepared for incubation. We are now at the incubation stage and you tell me it takes about three days for the eggs to hatch. Yes, um, what we, the, the next stage after collecting the eggs from the female's mouth is that we come and process it. We clean the eggs, we remove all the dirt from the eggs, then we bring them and put them into the incubation jars. This what we see here is called the McDonald hatching jar. So we put the eggs there and run the eggs continuously and a continuous recirculating system for three good days. Then when they hatch, they will hatch. If the temperature is good between 24 and 28 degrees centigrade, they will all hatch and then we take them back to the um, nursing tank where we give them the hormone treatment. When the eggs hatch into day-old fry, they are then transferred into these ponds for the next stage. Edmund says the fry are fed with hormones to produce all male fingerlings because the male tilapia is bigger when mature than the female. After transferring the day old fry into the tank is to start feeding them with hormone feed. We incorporate um, a male hormone into the diet, into the feed of the, 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 the baby or the fry, the baby tilapia or the fry. So we start from day one that we collect the fry, start feeding them for 28 days with the hormone feed as you are watching the young man feed them. The fry are then fed four to five times daily for 28 days in this pond, after which they are transferred to these bigger ponds for another 28 days. After the two months period, the fingerlings are now ready to be packaged and distributed to farmers for breeding. Okay, so we can, we can, we can, we can do our... During the packaging process, oxygen is pumped into a polythene bag to allow the fingerlings breathe for 12 hours during the transportation. Beyond this point, it will take another seven months for the fingerlings to mature into a big tilapia 
ready to be served as a meal. Edmund tells me aquaculture has proven to be a sustainable fish farming method, but there are challenges. Aquaculture has come to stay. It is the way, the only way by which we can augment us or, or continue to supply fish to the, our communities. We hope that fish feed, which is very expensive, um, we should be looked at. First of all, if they bring in, they allow many people to bring in feed or to establish uh, feed factories in the country, it will bring down the price of fish feed and so many farmers will be able to produce a lot of fish for the country. Despite its enormous benefits, there are only two state-owned aquaculture centers in the country, this one in Ashaman and the other in Ashanti region. As marine fisheries continue to deplete, it will take strong intervention to establish many aquaculture centers across the country so that many people can move into fish farming to augment the marine fish stock. Nabil Ahmed Rufai, GH1 News.